Hello friends, this is Great Big Sword again and you probably already heard that Amazon is going to um, produce a Lord of the Rings series and everybody's trying to guess what this series is going to be about and where and when it's going to be um, set up so um, or what, what era the series is going to be in. So we have... Um, we have some uh, maps, and they're really great maps. Very nicely done, very nicely drawn. And uh, we have, I believe, at, by the, at the time of the, this recording, uh, we have five maps, and I'll show you them here. Also, I'm going to give you my ideas of what I think is going to be the, uh, the setting uh, for this show based on these maps and the clues they've given us. And some of the things um, that are very interesting is that they've done the ring quotes about the three rings for the elven kings under the sky, one ring to rule them all, the whole poem of, of the ring. It was, um, so I, I, it has to be after the one ring was forged because this is basically the, the whole idea, the one ring and but we're going to see the One Ring in a, in a different light in this series, it looks like, because um, I think that the series is going to take place in 1693 to 1701 of the Second Age. And it's going to be um, during the War of the Elves and Sauron. So some of the things that triggered this for me were some uh, key locations on the map. And if we look here, we could see uh, Linden, Eriador, Aragian, Austin Edel, and Numenor. Now, Numenor is one of my uh, favorite areas of um, Middle Earth, and I'm really I'm excited for them to show it because this is where the, 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 the mightiest of the heroes of, of Middle Earth came from, the, the line of men, and uh, they were the closest to the to the elves, and they were long lived, and and there's a lot uh, written about them uh, in the um, outside of the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, books. So uh, this is this is kind of what they were talking about. This is the original uh, Dunedain, uh, which is what Aragorn, um, his bloodline comes from and makes him the king of uh, Gondor, the line of God to, to, to rule Gondor. Um, and also, we know that the blood of Westerness is one of the things uh, that uh, uh, associates uh, uh, the Dunedain, or th this is like the old blood, the you know, the, the, the heroic blood. Uh, so you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, to put it, to include Numenor in here definitely means they're going to show something of Numenor, Numenor itself. It's kings, something. And I think it's going to, um, it's going to include um, some characters like uh, Celebrimborn from uh, Shadow of Mordor fame. Um, Shadow of War, Shadow of, Shadow of Mordor, which were great games. And uh, Gilgalad, the uh, elf lord that Sam sings about in Lord of the Rings. And um, there's a whole bunch of different characters that could be here. But I know for a certain, Hellebrimborn and Gilgalad have to be there. I mean, you can't do Second Age stuff without these guys in it. Thanks for listening, everyone. And thanks for um, uh, going through my, uh, my weird theories with me. So, um... This is Great Big Sword uh, signing out, and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. And thanks again for listening. Goodbye, friends. Have to be there.